Lag ruining your Nintendo Switch gameplay? Whether you're dealing with frame drops, delayed inputs, or online stutter, this guide will help you cut down lag and boost performance up to 20% better with the right tweaks. Let's go step by step. Tip number one, reboot with a full power cycle. Don't just restart, power cycle the switch for a deeper refresh. Hold the power button for 15 seconds to force shut down. Wait 10 seconds and then turn it back on by holding the power button. This helps clear deeper memory leaks, background bugs, and ghost processes that a regular restart may miss. Tip number two, set a manual DNS. So, changing the DNS works on any device that uses the internet, whether it's a smartphone, PC, or gaming console. So, open up your Switch home menu and go to System Settings. Scroll down to Internet. Choose Internet Settings. Now select the network you're connected to. Click or tap on Change Settings. Tap on DNS Settings. Choose Manual. After this, you will need to change the DNS. Select Primary DNS and add 1.1.1.1. Hit the A button to confirm. Then select Secondary DNS and add 1.1. 1.0.0.1 This is the Cloudflare DNS and it really helps your internet speed. You can download a bit faster with this and surf through sites and YouTube easily. And just hit save now and confirm your choice. Tip number 3. Change TV settings. If you play online games on docked mode, then changing a few TV settings can really improve the gaming experience. Go to settings. Go to system settings. Then scroll all the way down to TV settings. Choose TV resolution and set this to 720p or 480p if you had. Set this to automatic or 1080p. Doing this will improve your FPS rate during online gaming as the docked mode can show latency in high resolutions. This can be helpful in securing you more kills in Fortnite or Apex Legends. Now also select RGB range and set it to full range don't let it stay automatic as this can cause fluctuations on the screen. So once this is done, you're all set. By following these tips, you'll notice a smoother gameplay, faster loading, and a much more responsive switch. Whether you play handheld or docked, let me know which fix worked best for you in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned and take care.